Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Big Data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. Wait down, like just click a little bit more. Sorry. What's that? Okay. Can you use this command called run? There's a run command on the top which executes a module. Yeah. This one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Scroll it little bit. Uh, so see, guys, if you wanted to see what you are and um, you know what uh, what access you have, you write run on a pack. You you write run. And module name. The module name will be I am space anum space permissions. So I'll give you that module name. Hold on, on the chat box. Here it is. Oh, okay. And that's our underscore run. Yeah. Now hold on for for a minute or so. Uh, it will enumerate your permissions, and then we will type again. Who am I? Fail to get the current user username. Enter it now or Control C to exit the module. Okay. It's asking you to have your username. So can you write I am anum and then write this? Sorry. I'll just give you one more command on this. Paste. Write this. Okay. Yeah. You you can press Control C to exit this module and then run again the same command with uh, minus minus all users. Okay. I'll run. Um, module not found it is it says run uh, so run i am nm and then search for it you will get the help yes search it is yeah, a yeah. single uh, underscore or double no uh, you have to you have to this is an sorry it it is a double underscore actually um okay. to run it you will have to to what you'll have to uh, search for that run i am yeah minus minus help if that gives you the enumeration can you scroll it yeah that is a complete module i am underscore underscore and i'm underscore permissions is a complete module so you write uh, that and then I you write it is i am enum permissions okay. no, no you write module name completely and then you search for that like i am the one which i have given you at the very first time like i right. am yeah. underscore underscore and i'm underscore permission yeah and then after then after this module name write help space help or search And recognize okay with it says all users permissions uh, are permission. Sorry. Uh, so in the command uh, we have given as a module in first it uh, I am underscore underscore enum underscore permissions in second command uh, I am underscore underscore enum underscore permission. So it is permissions or permission. It's a permission. Permission only. On the second command, it's permission. Yeah. Okay. 
Can you see? Uh, I can't see your screen. Like, I see Sorry, setting no, box. Just, uh, not here. Oh, okay. It says all users. Oh, you. It says all users with permissions. Oh, okay. Can you write permissions in the ad? Because it says that all users comes with perm I M N M permissions. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, minus minus all users. All minus users. Press enter. Uh, I'm not found on module I am user. It says run module I am in a user's role specific policies to fetch it. Yes, press Y. Uh, zero user enumerated. I am user saved in FACU database permission document location. I am in a permission completed module. Okay, it says session day three download confirm permissions i am hanam permissions completed module summary so it didn't find oh it was not able to enumerate any users and not able to enumerate the policies attached to it okay missing needed permissions right 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 we're trying to enumerate the user's policy but it says that you don't have permissions to off anything on i am that's also a quite strange then we have to enumerate the permissions and the roles right okay what we can do now we have to look for aws cli over here when we work on that we have to look for aws cli get caller identity okay i'll give you a aws cli command uh there is a one more module which can enumerate us the im can you write uh, instead of all users? Okay, we need a username on that. Can you write all roles instead of all users? Yep. Does it enumerate the users? It doesn't. What is what is the current module which we have in PACQ? I am enumeration is not working. What roles we can have? Can you write who am I now? Let's see, does it gives you anything with the username? Can you scroll it for? Hey viewers, are you looking for formal training on SRE practices? Take our SRE program. This course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services. Kickstart your SRE training today. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. Uh, it doesn't give you a username still. It gives you permission configured, allow, nothing, nothing, nothing. We have to brute force. There's a module in um let me just search it there's a module in uh pack you which can brute force your all um you know all your all your services like all your services can be brute force on that pack you yeah can you can you type pack you um sorry on this you can type mm -hmm. search uh i am search i am press enter What all we have? I am NM roles. I am NM users. Can you write for I am NM users now? Run I am NM users. Yeah, brute force permission. You see this? There's a brute force permission. I am brute force permission. Type that. Okay. Run I am brute force permission. Yes. Yes, yes. This one. Hold on now. It's kind of brute force with all the policies, right? So wait for a minute and it will give you what all permission it gets. And once it gets finished, uh, 
you have to write who am I again and you will be able to see who you are. No, not now. Okay, hold on. Uh, pack you encounter an error while running the previous command. Check session day three error log dot txt to technical details. Um, scroll it, scroll it a little bit up. New function dry run instance ID. So anywhere you see you are authorized for that, you are authorized for that. So everyone you are not authorized. Anywhere you see that you are authorized for this action. You are not authorized to perform this operation. You are not authorized to perform this operation. Um, invalid dummy data calling the get console. You are not authorized. Create, create, move slowly. Move ahead and look for if anything you are authorized for. No, nothing is coming up. Okay. Have you enumerate? Have you the script uh, called enumerate IM? Did you download it? That nothing is working. Okay. Um, there's a script which I'll give you the link of enumerate IM. It's a Python script, which we talked on the very first day. So can you download it from here? Just okay. yes. enumerate I am. Yep. Yeah, you can download the whole code. Click on download here. Download the zip and extract it. Uh, where is that? Yes, go to enumerate I am. Yes, this this won't go to that. Uh, just run the enumerate I am Python script with the access key and secret key, um, which is there. You have to use the access key and secret key uh, argument. Okay, so if you want to see, you can see that. Uh, Um, you have to write access key and secret key properly like access key. This is an access key. This is a secret key. Oh, you have to install this module called Boto3. So pip pip3 install Boto3. Yeah, Boto3. I 
it is a it is also very good script but it also do a brute force so it takes time to do a brute force yeah can you run it again the python and let's check the help yeah yeah this access key and secret key you have to write and then you have to provide the access key and secret key or right So this will enumerate your IAM and gives you the information of policies for what you are allowed to. Oh, you need the secret key also, yeah. Uh, keep also keep region as US East one, okay? Hey viewers, our master in DevOps engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high level DevOps positions. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. So it works. It worked for describe DB instances. It worked for list bucket. You see, there is a list bucket. You are allowed to have that permission. It works you to have a RDS describe DB instance. It worked to have a STS get session token. It worked you for Dynamo DB. It worked you for EC to describe VPC instances. These are the access you have. Okay, EC to describe instances VPC. Dynamo DB, RDS, S3 list bucket. So we have S3 list bucket already, right? So um, with that user, you have an, you can uh, type now with the AWS CLI. It takes time because it's gonna do a brute force with all the rest possible of how you can create a service. So it takes time and that's why I don't like it much. But as you face issue on PACU, uh, I recommended you to look for this because PACU also gives you the same enumeration, but you have a, you got an exception in between, um, which might be, um, which might be because of the framework or, or, or can be on an issue. I don't want to troubleshoot that. That's why I, I take you to this uh, enumerate I am user. Um, similar, it, uh, similarly, you, you have a same, uh, you know, module in, PACQ as well, which works and do the brute force. As it's going to brute force and it's doing it in a background, it can take time. Uh, but uh, you have got what you, you wanted to look for. So you have a list bucket option which worked for you. Okay, and also you get the user Lara and the account ID and the account TRN, which is which is good, good for us. So we know the username is Lara now. So go come back to PACQ again. Come back to pack you again. Yeah, now we know the username, right? So we will say enumerate user and now we'll know the username. So pack you, yeah. Okay, so pack you dot py, okay. yeah. Yeah, hit enter. No, no, hit enter. You will be inside pack you then. Now you have uh, day three, right? You can go for four, four option. You have already day four configured, right? Now you run IAM enumeration, but this time you give a username as uh, Lara. Run IAM. Uh, uh, NM underscore permission. So you can see the chat box. Now you know the username, so you can write the user. Minus minus user, I believe, right? That was there. You have to write minus minus user space Lara. Okay. 
No, uh, can you just see it's permissions? It's S. You missed the S. Uh, list user policies failed. Uh, you don't have a list attached user policies. Um, and you don't you don't have any IAM permissions. You have moreover S3 permissions and all that. So can you write who am I again? Let's see. Still you got nothing. Um, can you write uh, the same run same command but this time help? Yeah, help. Okay, uh, user minus name. And then Lara. No, it don't allow you to enumerate on policies. It don't allow you to enumerate on anything. Uh, but or can you uh, leave leave it open? We go back to our IMNM. You know, I am an emulator. Yeah, it's over here. We saw that we have an S3 list bucket. So we'll go and instead of running uh, the other modules, we'll run the list bucket module from PACU. PACU has that uh, complete S3 bucket option. So um, run or search S3. That will give you the complete. Uh, stuff which you can do with the S3. This press enter. Uh, S3 bucket finder, S3 download finder. So we'll run the S3 bucket finder, which will find out all the different buckets we have. So reconnaissance. So we'll say run S3 bucket finders. Yes. Uh, region is US East one minus R. US East minus one. Yes. Press enter. Uh, it needs a domain. Okay. 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 Uh, it needs a domain. Domain means the S3 colon uh, slash 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 slash. Uh, hold on. Subroot. Grab sub subroot subdomain. Uh, that should be the bucket name, but we don't know the bucket yet. We need a bucket name to enumerate or get the. Um. Let's let's not do it from here. Let's get the bucket name first. So we'll we'll uh, go with AWS CLI. Go to AWS CLI. Um, open a one more terminal. Go with AWS CLI and write here AWS S3 LS. AWS no no AWS S3 space S3 LS. Uh, you need to create a profile here before doing that. You have to get this uh, username and password. So first create a AWS configure profile and yeah, AWS configure profile, uh, not minus. Yeah, AWS configure profile. Minus minus, sorry, minus minus profile and then your profile name. Yeah, name is, yeah, day three will work or Lara or something. Now, access key and secret key is the same which you have provided above, like uh, F O N, F O N S K, the one which is on the chat box, the one which you provided on enumerating the IAM. Yes. And then US East one. Hey viewers, trying to get into DevSecOps? 
and all for our depth secop certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements contact info is mentioned in the video side bars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now Okay, now you write, um, you know, S3 um, LS and then your profile. Uh, minus minus profile and then Lara. Uh, minus minus profile, then Lara. Yeah, press enter. So these are the set of buckets which are available over there, right? Um, so on a finder on PackU, you, you can write the bucket name. Uh, bucket name would be, it can be anything like which you wanted to look for. Basically, we we I have created this bucket called uh, key store. So we wanted to key store, no, the key store one, CG key store S3 bucket, yep. Copy that. And then S3 colon colon slash now paste the domain. This bucket, yep. Requires external dependencies. Oh, it needs a sublister and all that. It's quite complex of using this. Come back to CLI, no, no issues. Yeah, you wanted to install, you can say yes. Um, but for now, because it's going to use the sublister and then download that, that can take a lot of time. Okay, come back to meanwhile this so as you see on the enumerate you have lots of uh, you know accessibility on lots of things so now you have a bucket also so you can write aws s3 sync okay sync command so aws s3 sync right and then the bucket name s3 colon the similar way s3 colon uh, sorry s3 you missed the s yeah s3 colon the bucket name uh, which you just copied uh hold on exit 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 your yeah a space dot um then slash uh write the where you wanted to copy all the content write that folder name you wanted to copy you can name anything you want okay and space minus minus profile then the profile which you created that's your lara Now is an issue you cannot sync, you cannot download. Okay, that means you don't have a permission to do a sync up, but you have a permission of list, but you don't have a permission of sync up. Create. Um, do the similar thing, but this time use a profile for the second profile which I have given you. Uh, AKI A6 PNE751. Create a new profile. Okay. Uh, the the next the next uh, on the chat box. AWS configure profile. Yeah. Any not Lara but any other name. Yeah, Lara or yeah, it's up to you. So on pack you if you go, it's find it out you something. Meanwhile, you can copy this access key ID, the next one, like 751. Yep, a region should be US East minus one, yep. Uh, you can run enumerate IAM in order to uh, check what all permission it has. Uh, yeah, this one. Enumerate time. If you want to look for for the permissions, yeah, 
ये एक्सेस की इन सीक्रेट की यू जस्ट कॉपीट हाँ यू मिस द सीक्रेट की You see the username. Your username is MacDuck. Describe security worked. Describe subnet worked. Describe VPC worked. Instance worked. Uh, this is the username MacDuck. Okay. It worked with Global Accelerator. You can describe the endpoints. Your RDS instance describe this 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 worked. List S3 bucket worked. Describe DB instances worked. Um, meanwhile, you do a brute force. Get you can even get the caller identity. You see that? Can you just go to pack you? Number of buckets found zero. Number of buckets got listed zero. Yeah, I sometimes do such stuff. So you have a STS get caller session token as well, which is good, good, good stuff for you. Okay, meanwhile, you do a brute force. Um, can you try that sync command again with uh, Yeah, can you open one more terminal on this? Like uh, you can if you can open the one more terminal then we can uh, yeah on over here We it, keep that brute force in up for it and you you write that sync uh, S3 sync command with this user now with this profile Now we have a profile. Meanwhile, it does it. So, so AWS. I'll I'll tell you the command, or I'll write that command on the on the board. So AWS S3 sync. Copy. What's the bucket name? Now we need a bucket name only over here and slash ABC. You have written profile is. Don't know what profile name you have written. So write your profile name only into this. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.